Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with another wax party break. This is Jaspie's eight box out of the park baseball mixer. Pick your team number two. From where else? Jaspie'scasebreaks.com. That's the only place to be. Here on Thursday. Big thanks to Carl picking up a ton of teams at the end, including Last Bot Mojo Braves. So good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. Thank you for getting in. Let's start with triple thread. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this eight box out of the park baseball break. We've got another one in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pick your teams. If I were you, I'd snap up the teams whatever inexpensive teams there are, I'll snap those up. At least throw your hat in the ring for a wax party break. Details of that promo, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Go. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 125 for Carl Javi, also for Carl Garrett Cole, Yankees, Carl Mookie Betts, Aaron, Aaron Salinas with the Dodgers. And your hits we have Triple Relic, Byron Buxton, 24 out of 36. Blasts to begin. Walter with the Twins. And then behind Henry Aaron is Alec Thomas. 39 out of 75. Rookie auto for the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks have a great crop of youngsters coming up the ranks. This is going to go to Ryan and the Snakes. Behind the Man of Steel is Tony Santillan. Triple Relic and Autograph. 35 out of 99 for Carl and the Reds. And then we've got Jazz Chisholm. 18 out of 18. Piece of the jersey going to Carl and the Fish. I'm gonna, I want to go marlin fishing someday. That's that's on the that's on the list. Go to Florida, charter a charter a boat or something like that. If that's what they do. You can rent all the other stuff, right? I would I would imagine. You don't have to buy all that stuff. You got to use. I can't just use a standard fishing pole for a big old marlin. Go out on the boat, catch me a marlin, bring it back to one of the. Dockside restaurants, have them grill that up, that mess up for me. Mmm. Mmm. You know, maybe uh, maybe read a maybe read the old man in the sea. That'd be appropriate. Marlin Fishing. There's C.J. Abrams for Carl. Giancarlo Stanton for Carl. Trevor Story for, for Zachary. And Reggie Jackson for Peter. You want to go too, Carl? Who wants to go? Should we make this a Jaspie trip? There's Racing Home, Glaber Torres, 13 out of 27. For Carl. And behind the Man of Steel is Key Brian Hayes, 33 out of 99. Right, gotta read, gotta read the Hemingway. It's short too. You could read that in, could read that in a quick read, afternoon.
There's Byron Buxton, a 469-foot walk-off. Wow, nice. Nine out of 27. It's a, it's a big hit. It's going to go to Walter and the Twins. And then we've got in Julio Urias, one out of nine, piece of the jersey. On the IL right now, but hopefully he, he gets gets back back soon. Aaron with the Dodgers. Frank McKenzie says you also have to be absolutely hammered drunk if you're channeling Hemingway. Yeah, I think so. What was what was Hemingway's uh, drink of choice? Would that be uh should we do five star than the baseball? Let's do five star than the baseball. We'll close with Dynasty. Rum, maybe? I think it's think he's a rum guy. I went to uh, I went to Pamplona once to run with the Bulls, which I did. It was awesome. Uh, there, there's a bullfighting ring, and outside there's a statue of Hemingway. Pretty cool. Here's Emmanuel Rivera, 31 at 75 rookie auto for the Royals. Ryan with the Royals. Rex wants to go to Florida just to meet Florida men. All right, Rex, you might, might want to let your wife know about that. We got the chicken man, Wade Boggs. Nice. Boston Boggs for Snell. Florida men, says Rex. Yeah, he had, Rex is doubling down on it. Do you know that Florida also has a, a large monkey population? I did not know that, no. Uh, if you visit <laughs> right, Rip Wade Boggs, RIP Wade Boggs, one of my favorite Sunny episodes, Frank. Um, the, uh, oh, Rex wants to meet famous Florida men, I see. Yeah, if Rex is going to be meeting men, they better be famous. And, not just any man will do for Rex. Famous men. Uh, if you go to Hemingway's place in the Florida Keys, there's a lot of six-toed cats that are there. Here's Hoy Park, rookie auto for the Pirates. Sorry. Oh, Florida man! Florida man. Well, not that there's anything wrong with looking for Florida men, right, Rex? That's not what you were suggesting, right? Not in 2023. Carl with the Pirates. And there's Daryl Strawberry. 47 out of 50. Wait, who's the Florida man? Are you talking about Mar the Marlin man that sits behind the home plate in baseball games? Here's the straw man, Daryl Strawberry. That's going to be Mets edition for Carl. Baseball time. You have been there. I've not been there, Carl. Yeah, the, the six-toed cats, there was like one or two six-toed cats, and they've all inbred, and they've produced more six-toed cats. There's a lot of them. They're all feral cats just roaming around the residence. All right, this has a Hall of Fame logo on it. Put your thinking caps on. I know it's a little late, so I'll make these clues very easy. Um, I'm a left-handed hitter in the Hall of Fame. Played for two teams my entire career. Batting average 286, lifetime 2,472 hits, 541 home runs, and over 1,700 runs batted in. 10-time All-Star, 3-time World Series champion, a World Series MVP, ALCS MVP, 7-time Silver Slugger, AL Home Runs leader, my number retired by this team, first ballot Hall of Famer, 77.9% of the vote. Who am I? The, the ball, not me. I know who I am. Larry Walker wishes he had 541 home runs. I sure can, James. There's a DVR function on the, our live stream. You can 
rewind just a little bit and you can catch all that again. Thank God for technology. Remember the baseballs go to the team the 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 player played for the longest if they're retired. The team they're currently on if they're active just for the baseballs. And if it's a multi-signed baseball, we'll just figure out the most appropriate way to randomize it. Yep, Frank's got it. Big Boppy, David Ortiz. And sometimes the baseballs will have a team logo or insignia on it, and that'll that'll kind of help with that as well. But David Ortiz played for the uh, for the Red Sox the longest. There's all the authentication stickers right there, and that's Zach Snell. Snell with that one. Snell, yeah. The Hall of Fame logo on there. I went to the Hall of Fame last uh, last summer. It was a lot of fun. Cute little town. Very small, but but had a lot of time at the uh, the Hall of Fame. There you go, Zach. All right, next one. Now the guess the Sig game is boring. That's no fun. That doesn't require any thinking at all, Joe Pizzle. Joe only wants to play that game because he's good at that one. Oh, and this one's easy. I can't show you this one. This one's too easy. I, a, I do suck at the Guess the Signature game. But it's also like from a, per, like a live stream perspective, it's not as fun. It's not as fun. Not as interactive. It's just like I'm just waiting for people to try to guess what's on the, what scribble is on there. Who am I? I'm another Hall of Famer. Uh, first ballot Hall of Famer with 77.5% of the vote in the late 90s. Three-time All-Star, two-time AL MVP, a Gold Glove Award winner, three-time Silver Slugger. Played for one team my entire career and ended my career with a 285 lifetime batting average, 3,142 hits, 251 home runs, and 1,400 runs batted in. Who am I? From Danville, Illinois. And then briefly lived in Covington, Indiana. Then his family moved to Southern California when he was an infant. And then he went to uh, William Howard Taft High School in Woodland Hill. He went to Taft. I had a friend who used to go to Taft. Was third pick overall in the June 1973 Major League Baseball draft, one slot ahead of fellow Hall of Famer and 3008 Club member Dave Winfield. Yeah, James has got it. Robin Young. There's his auto. Got to pop this baby open. Let's check out that auto. There it is. Played for the Brewers. His entire career. That goes to Carl. Oh, is that a hits inscription? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. 3,142. That's pretty cool. Rockin' Robin. Rockin' Robin. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Rockin' Robin. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Also, earlier, Frank was mentioning that, 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 uh, Hemingway's favorite drink, according to Google, the mojito. What is in a mojito? Is that rum and... I just drink gin straight up. I'm one of those guys. Or Jameson, straight up. Mojitos, rum and a soda? Soda water? And a lime, maybe?
Oh, mint? Mint in it too? It's a minty drink. All right, we got an active player, ladies and gentlemen. He's one of those uh, bats left, but throws right kind of guys. A DH right fielder working on some first base from Vegas. Lifetime 281. Has, currently has 1,400 hits, a little over 1,400 hits, 288 home runs, 824 runs batted in, 124 stolen bases. Played for two teams my entire career. Seven-time All-Star, two-time NL MVP, an NLCS MVP, an NL Rookie of the Year, a two-time Silver Slugger Award winner, etc. A Golden Spikes Award winner, home run derby champion, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, Frank and Carl's got it. It's Bryce Harper. He's currently on the Phillies. See, this one was too easy to show, too. All right, there you go, Carl. Yeah, he's, he's, not, yeah, he's not good. <laughs> the guy's not very good. Now, back in 2015, after he won his uh, MVP, I asked people, will Bryce Harper win another MVP? And I feel like most of the responses were no, that he would not win another MVP. Then he won an MVP in 2021. So I'll pose the question again. Does Bryce Harper win a third MVP at some point in his career? All right, congrats, Carl. Now, let's see what's in this Dynasty box. No. No, says Joe Pizzle. Three is kind of hard, right? How many people have, how many, how many ball players have three MVPs? Let alone two, let alone, let alone one, but. All right, the final hit. I'm gonna try to hide the ink with my thumb here. What we got here? The face is starting to show up a little bit. Ooh, I know this person. It's the wizard, Ozzy Smith. Nine out of 10, three color patch and autograph. I think, uh, I think currently a, I want to say he's currently, what's he doing these days? Professor at Hogwarts, probably? Nice one. Cardinals, the Josh X-Line. The Josh X-Line? The X-Line. Josh X-Line with that one. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Jaspie's 8-box out-of-the-park mixer. Pick your team 2. Pick your team 3 is in the store right now. And it's also a wax party break. So let's give away the wax party invite in this one here. Dice list. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a four, ten times. Name on top gets the invite into the wax party. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. Now we know who has the odds, but did someone pip that spot? Pip that spot, as the, uh, the English would say. We'll see. No, no, no pipping here. No Wally pips here, Carl. No doubt about it. Your name's on top. You got another wax party invite, Carl. Thank you very much, man. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.